There's nothing like chilling with my girls. Just me and my divas taking over the world. So I'm going to start this video off as um, just saying hey. Um, so this one I'm going to be doing, I decided to do another video today before the night was over since I've already had my makeup and stuff on. This is another Isis wig. The one I have on is also an Isis wig. This is a full wig and this is called Natural Kink. And I got her in a blue black. She's available at Elevate Styles. So here she goes right here, blue black. Um, I was really expecting her to look like the Vivica Fox Becky wig, which was blue. But that was more of a navy blue color. This is more of a ooh, electric blue. So what we're going to do, we're going to do this and let's get it started, okay? All right, love. So here we go. This is the Isis collection red carpet it is a full wig and it's called natural kink now you see she is so blue so when i seen her on the actual picture i didn't think it was so blue like this if i would have known it was going to be so blue i would have got like the 1b30 because you know for one it is a lot of hair and it's something totally out of the norm for me so when i do something totally out of the norm i like to gradually step into it i don't really like to just jump out of the box however the hair texture, I'm pretty sure you can do like some different styles with this, meaning you can put some hot water and some perm rods on it and give yourself like some different type of curls, just like you do with like the Marley hair when you're doing like, you know, those crochet braids and those hairstyles. I think this wig is excellent for this actually. Now I decided to put a cornrow on the side because I didn't want so much hair to my face, like covering my face up. I was just trying something out, you know, trying to make this unit work for me as best as possible now I know a lot of people could probably rock the hell out of this unit I'm not really sure if I'm doing it any justice and I think it has a lot to do with the color now it doesn't have combs so I went ahead and put some bobby pins and I decided to trim the back because it seemed a little bit uneven to me kind of like going down my shoulder blades to my back um, with this type of hair and I didn't want it to be too long in the back so I decided to just snip away and do my best Okay, ladies, so this is like um, some really wild hair. Like, it is kinky, natural kink, but it's blue. I didn't really expect this much blue in it. Um, so I tried to camouflage it as much as possible with some of my hair topic filler fibers because it will darken your hair, so that's why I sprayed hairspray on it because, trust me, it doesn't need the hairspray, but the, the fibers will sit in um, with the hair. So there's no combs. There's no... Combs. It's just an adjustable strap. Um, use some bobby pins. I would use bobby pins. What I did because I wanted to take some of it away from my face because it was just so much. I pulled out a little bit of my own leave out. Put a cornrow camouflage where there's no part right here where the cornrow will begin. And just pulled that hair over my face. It is a lot of hair. This is great hair for when you want to kind of like party. I don't know if I want it so big on the top. I was trying to think of other ways to like you know style it there is like endless styles that you can do with this one but it is a humongous afro I like really didn't everything. think that there was going to be this much blue in it it didn't appear like that on the actual picture but it is blue black so for those of you who wanted some blue hair but you something totally different then check this one out by isis she is called natural king oh my and god i'm so blue and just like so full of hair um, but I think it looks cute with the braid right there because it just pulls it away from my face Check her out on elevatestyles.com. I'll post all the information for you guys below. And on that note, let me know what you think. Stay diva and divalicious as always. And I'll be back soon.